Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last session we returned, well we'd already returned, but we were sort of hanging out for the first time after returning from the second palace. And uh, we are waiting for the days to tick down until my dude Madarame has his change of heart. But a new a new wrinkle has appeared. <laughs> with, uh, with Ryuji and Mishima. About a maid service. Hey, about that flyer. We're doing it at night, right? I'm usually in Shibuya at those hours. Let me know when you're going to it. You better not leave me behind, okay? I'll never forgive you if you do. I'll contact you again later tonight. Okay. Very interesting. Also, we were supposed to be looking for uh, a cat burglar. I was going <laughs> to... Cat thief. Uh, somewhere down here, weren't we? <sighs> Is today Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday, so I don't need to worry about getting the drink and stuff. Um, well, let's see what's going on at Station Square, I guess, and then we'll just walk around and see if we can find anything about this cat so person. Much. The old bastard stopped taking my calls. Well, I squeezed him for all he's worth, so I guess it makes sense. So that's why you're taking this stuff more seriously. I'll let him know. Keep an eye out for young ones, like we've been doing. They make the best customers. Yikes, question mark. Have we? Is it time for this yet? You have a lottery ticket, yes? Allow me to check the result. Your result in this drawing is... Congratulations! Oh good, another 300? Uh, even less! You've won 100 yen! Wow! And how much was the ticket again? Wow! You won, but I guess it's better than nothing. Welcome! The ticket is 3,000. God damn it. Thank you for your purchase. 611. Hi! Now let's try the scratchers! Yeah! Huh. Sirens going past. In game. That weirded me out for a second. Well then. Okay, Morgana. Let's see if you can fucking ever, ever help me out here. The middle one. Oh, man. The left one. Oh, man. Okay. Come the right on. one. Fuck me. Never am I ever lucky in this game. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Right, we can return the DVD, can't we? What would you like? Wow, that is a lot of new ones. Charm, kindness, proficiency, guts. And this is the one that we didn't finish yet, which was another proficiency one. Uh, I guess we don't need proficiency right now. We're about to rank it up. Anyway, um... Charm and kindness we pretty much need, don't we? Let's go... Charm. I feel like kindness... Slightly easier to do. Thank you very much. Please come back soon. Indeed. Indeed I shall. Uh, are there any more books? Oh, that's cool. They've got the... They've got the... Uh, what's the word? The plasticky stuff over the books outside. What can I get you? Uh, new ones. Enrich your knowledge. Uh, date spots geared towards adults. Interesting. May as well, right? Thank you very much. May as well get everything we can. What are the signs? Information on new publications. Ghost story book for overcoming the hot summer. is scheduled for a July 1st release. Interesting. Is this sign different or the same thing? Yeah, same thing, okay. Right, um... What else, what else, what else? That's the beef bowl thing. We could sell our, uh... 
sell our treasure. <laughs> we still can't ask him about the guns because our guts haven't gone up. Mm. Boo, 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 okay. boo, boo, boo. Sell all treasure. You should boo. be grateful. Nice. Up to 72 Good grand. Good Do we need anything from the Velvet Room? Not right now. Awesome. I think. Uh, anything new in the convenience store? Mm -hmm. Soothing Sober is now on sale. Welcome. 200 HP to one ally. For 800 yen, yikes. I mean, it is a good deal, but fuck. It's expensive. What do you want to do? Thank you very much. Cheers, my dears. Uh, anything new here? Got to keep on checking. Welcome. Was there something you were you looking like? for? Twenty HP, fifty, hundred lowers. Get sleep, get spare, get dizzy. Fuck off. No, thank you. Do, do, do. Whoa. What a crazy maze. Welcome. It's almost like a palace. <laughs> hmm. Have two of those already. Let's not buy any more. Is this a new film yet? Oh. Hmm. Nope, it's still the Cake Night Rises, okay. Well. What's up? Sure did. Change my mind. Yoing. My umbrella takes precedence over your umbrella. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen much in the way of people to listen to. Talking about rumors or anything. Uh, or maybe they're just not out when it's rainy, perhaps? Underground walkway, maybe? <sighs> Madarame has been acting the same as usual. I'll contact you if the situation changes. Having said that, if he does indeed have a change of heart, what will become By of the, the exhibit? I suppose we'll have to wait and see. By the way, do you need something here, Peter? I came to see you. <laughs> yeah, you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. After what happened with Madarame, I've come to realize the two-faced, complex nature of mankind. People are difficult to handle. It makes for an interesting theme. That is why I intend on people watching here for quite on people watching here for quite some time. Please contact me if anything important comes up. Will do. Are there any other jobs? What are your thoughts? No. Just those three. Okie doke. Madarame's show is simply amazing. It left me utterly proud to be Japanese. Oh ho ho ho. So that was you I saw on TV during the news coverage. Oh my, was I really? I had no idea. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Fuck me. Do, 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 do. What was this down the end here? I forget. Oh, welcome. Mm, Cause burn, freeze, and shock. Okay. No one else to listen to. P. I'm glad. Okay, it doesn't appear so. Wow. What about in the underground mall? Hey, Anne, you can't rank up, unfortunately. Uh, Have you heard? Would there be any new what stuff in like? here? Doesn't appear so. I don't think these have updated particularly. Is there anyone to listen to about the cats? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Do you know a calling card was posted at the exhibit the same day we went? What? Really? People are talking about it all over the internet. Seems Madarame has been stealing other people's work. You found out all that? The internet is amazing. 
Does anyone want to tell me about cats? I want to know about cats, man. I want to know about cats. Thanks for dropping by. Do you... Hello, rainy day special. This is oh, this is what the people at the uh, at school were talking about. 80 HP to all allies on rainy days. I should definitely try and remember that one. That'll be very useful. Will I remember it? Eh, probably not. But I will do my best. Well, I am all out of uh, places to go to uh, try and hear someone talk about the cat. So I'm wondering if that was just if that's just because it's raining, so the people aren't here. Would it be it would be under requests, right? If cats disappeared from the city, ask around Yongan for some information. Wait, this is Shibuya, isn't it? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That's your man. Motherfucker. I am an idiota. Idiota. Professional moron. Anyone around? Nothing down there. Nothing down here. Isn't it good to go to the uh, the spa thing on a rainy day? Isn't that supposed to be something you want to be doing? Oh, hello. Examine old apartment. This place doesn't get much sunshine. Interesting. Uh... Okay, I'm thinking they just aren't here. Whoever we need to talk to, right? Unless I'm very much mistaken. Not seeing anyone. It's not like there's a whole ton of places to look. <laughs> unless they're in LeBlanc, unless it's someone having coffee. Oh wait, you can't go in. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Um. Okay, in that case then, do I have the death persona on me? I do. Let's go and see our favorite lady. Oh, that doesn't... Right, yeah. Just gotta go myself. Hello, beautiful. There's no one here. It feels like a day off because I don't have any patients today, but it's raining, so I may get an influx of people with colds. So, what are you here for today? Want to do a clinical trial? In that case, my little guinea pig, there's something I want to test out today. Nice, nice. Yes, I am. Please head to the exam room. Well then, please head to the examination room. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, that's all for today. If you're feeling okay, you can go home now. Hello? Hello, Dr. Takemi's Clinic of Internal Medicine. What? Again? That's... well, that ship's already sailed, so... <sighs> what a pain. You remember that girl from the other day? The Chief of Staff Oyamada's patient? Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the medical error I made. Was it really your fault? Uh, let's just say they trust you. She'll probably like that more, right? I'm just a quack, though. Okay, maybe mm. she didn't like that. The medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Ends Disease. Although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford ends, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had reached the final stage of production, but one day I was suddenly removed from my position. 
That chief of staff, Oyameda, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. <laughs> I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug, or to become rich and famous, but... He made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient named Miwa. Miwa-chan had a reaction and lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Miwa-chan and her family resented me. No matter what, they, what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. It's not too late. That's fine, I guess. Well, that doesn't matter. The development of the medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at that hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general pra practitioner, on my own terms, with my guinea pig. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in the final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that, that take the offensive and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. Uh, probably? <laughs> Well, nothing in life is guaranteed, right? <laughs> Don't make that face. Don't worry, this substance can't cause any harm to cells that haven't been infected. Hey. I haven't had any points with her. Have I been clicking the wrong options, or have none of the options been able to give points this time? You'd better not flake on me this late in the game. I'm inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. I didn't get a single a single note with her that time. Immunization adds support items to the inventory at the clinic. All Dope. right. I did not get a single musical note. Mm. That is worrying. Now what should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. Oh, sorry. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home now increased my guts. But we didn't actually do anything, did we, today? I didn't participate in any trial. Bye. Thanks for your hard work. Okay, sure. Pee 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 pee. You doing okay, my little guinea pig? Just wanted to check up on you. Also, sorry for the long talk today. I wasn't planning on telling you all that. About Miwa Chang? Yeah, you're the first person I've really shared all that with. But it was also a good reminder. This is something I have to do, as the plague. Thanks to you, the drug's development is progressing very smoothly. If there are no issues with this latest sample, I think we're right on the edge of finally finishing it. Oh, sorry, looks like I've got another patient. Maybe that girl and her dad came back. I have to go. See you later. Nice. Ah, you're back. P P P P. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarame must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Well, a bit late to think about that now. I didn't realize he was still living there. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. What do you mean, something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Guess we've just got to wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. They better. Pee 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 pee! Hey, you didn't forget, did you? You know, about that flyer. We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping service. <laughs> I'm over at Central Street by now, so come talk to me if you're interested. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? Yes. KK, I'll be waiting. Oh, but don't flake out on me, okay? Please? <laughs> My wife went to Madarame's exhibit and now she's all about art. She wants to buy artwork and learn how to paint. We can't afford any of that. Huh, <laughs> that exhibit's been the talk of the town. It's just a fad. I'm sure she'll forget about it. You know, I'm kind of jealous of Madarame. Even in this recession, he must be making a lot of money. Not for long. 
not for long. So, hang on. Hey, if you want to draw in more customers, you need to learn to be more polite when you speak. Hey, my bad. I'm trying. It's just really hard to wrap my head around how formal Japanese culture is. Why'd you even take this job if you can't speak Japanese well? I said I'm sorry. <laughs> right, let's do this thing. Do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? Wait, this is what we've already heard. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're executing Operation Maidwatch tonight for sure, right? Hell yeah. All right. Sweet, I've been waiting for this. Wait, you already changed out of your uniform? I guess that's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. Wow, nice nice place, Ryuji. It's a square. So we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maidwatch, bro. <laughs> yeah, Operation Maidwatch. Well. If it turns out to be sketchy, we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. <laughs> You're a genius, Ryuji. Yeah, I know. <laughs> to think, Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then... Then... Yup. What? Yeah. Okay, give him a call. Leave it to me. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. Oh wait, that's a man's voice? They answered. Hey. Shh. I take it you're interested in our services then. S services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Uh, anyone we want to request? What should we do, Peter? No preference. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? Whoa! Shit, this is really happening. A maid's services. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we start with some cooking. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? Fucking Elmashima. They said 20 minutes, right? Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh. It's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Da 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 da. Huh? What? Who? Me? You're really nervous. <laughs> Are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Huh? What? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. What if they find out who we are? Wait. How should I know? But why would how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on their caller ID. Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. Huh? What? Already? She's five minutes early. What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. Oh, the door's unlocked. May I come in? I, I can't do this. My stomach's acting up. My hands are all sweaty. Oh, my bad, man. Okay, you handle the rest and don't let her find out you're a high school student. Are you actually ditching me? I've got your back. Just from way back. Like, from the balcony. Wh what? 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 I can't do this either. Parker, we'll leave it to you. What the fuck, guys? Hello? Ryuji and Mishima fled to the balcony. Okay, well, uh... This changes things. <laughs> Bit of one-on-one -on -one time here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, Master. Things you love to see. I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. Oh my god. I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. Can I request someone else? Nice to me out to you. Just, oh, fuck. We're going to get along so well. Meow. Jesus Christ. Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. But there are other services we provide, if you desire. Hmm. You look young, master. Are you, perhaps, in high school? Uh, 
uh, college is fine, right? College is old enough. She wouldn't believe we're a dad, but college age is all right. Wow, your skin's so healthy. You're not lying to me, are you? Hmm. I'll wait to provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. Ah, oh, shit. Did I mess up? Should I have said I'm a dad? So, I'll be going now. Huh? What? No. Quiet. Is, is someone there? Oh. N oh, no. Shit. Run, Mishima. Mishima? Sakamatu-kun? Uh-oh. And you? Hmm. Did you request me specifically? What do you mean? Wait. What? Wait, are you? Oh no, it's alright. How would you know me? This is our first meeting. Yes, the first time ever, Master. Oh, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. Which one's the homeroom teacher? Is that not, not our main teacher, is it? I guess it could be. I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. Oh, Kawakami! Oh, shit! Yellow jumper teacher. The one who doesn't like us very much. Well, how the tables have turned. <laughs> that was, who the, well, that is such a dumb idea. Like, obviously, as a high school teacher, you're like, getting into the ages where people are going to be trying out services like that. So why would you then, like, oh man. That seems, that seems crazy. I should have taken a job outside of the city, but I needed it to be close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Hey. Who did you hear about this from? Oh, it was Miss Chuno, wasn't it? That harpy. Miss Chuno, the English teacher? She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamashida. Are you going to tell Miss Chuno about this? Uh, <laughs> that's up to you. Hey, if you're going to side with a teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. I don't know. I don't know, man. W what were you saying about these other services? <laughs> and if you promise not to tell Miss Chuno about this, I'll do anything for you. Wow. Wow. Anything? Hey. Hey, it won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too, so why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you had cancelled, so you won't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'll be leaving. Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay, bye. Damn it. <laughs> I suddenly feel exhausted, but not exhausted in the way we <sighs> hoped. I want to go home. Rip. Big rip. Big ol' ripperoni. Oh, today's the day. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Plagiarized work. I, I tainted this, this country's art world, and, and even Sayuri. How could I, I possibly apologize to, to everyone for, for what I've done? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. 
After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? That old geezer? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Pleasant boy. Phantom thieves again. Makoto. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna it's gonna start heating up for us. The more people believe in us, the more risky it is. But for now, it'll be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. Faux show. Sure. Wonder who the next one will be. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Uh oh. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? We wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. <laughs> hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. My bad. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second Thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. Yeah, that is actually a really good point. The two victims of the two people being friends is a bit of a coincidence. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge, thanks to my fine arts scholarship. Nice. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Dude. <laughs> Wait, what? 
You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. Ah, yeah, we could use his place. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Uh-oh. Yusuke Kitagawa. Oh dear, she's putting two and two together, isn't she? Flash, 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 flash. I don't actually know what this one would be about. I guess just his confession. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <laughs> it's the truth. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. I'm not telling. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Laval. Now your next target was this man. No, I don't want to know. God damn it. I, uh, I wish. I wish they didn't do this. Junior Kaneshiro. Junior Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The summary of the story has been updated. Cool. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. Uh... You involved somehow, my dude? And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country ruling party member this situation must be approached with the utmost ah. seriousness that's dickhead in chief isn't it I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind that is dickhead in chief that will be our final target I imagine not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about but if that is exposed 
P P P P. Looks like Yusuke is texting me. I think you're getting him too. You have my gratitude. Why are you so polite all of Oh, what are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. <laughs> yeah, you owe us one, dude. Indeed. I will return the favour someday. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> he didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So, that said, you got time after this? For what? You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a dance lounge from this guy I know, but I totally forgot that they expire today, so you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play two, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. Mm. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's head to this dance lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Hell yeah, I'm on it. Oh right, the place is in Kichi Joji, so we gotta take the train first. Kichi Joji? Oh. What, for real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside let's the go. station here. It's just one. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head for the Inogami line first. Interesting. Interesting. Inogami line. Okie doke. Well. That is where we will leave it, I think, for today. We've got a new place to go to, on, sounds man. like. Where are you going? The Inogami line's on the other side. Okay. Cool. Very cool. So, our teacher is, uh, doing a bit of, uh, <laughs> doing a bit of side work. That is very interesting. Uh, and, and the confession. Confession has taken place. We've seen more about the investigator. And it looks like the investigator's boss is, like, sort of working against her, potentially? And, uh, the dickhead that ruined our lives is also now, like, top dog in politics. So, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. So, next time we'll be heading along with Ryuji to play darts at a new area. And, uh, continue, continue along with the confidants until we discover some, some starter information, I guess, on our next target. Good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Persona 5 Royal. Thanks for watching. See you then.